Hi there! Welcome back to my channel. I've decided that I'm tired of doing voiceovers when I'm doing editing, so I'm just going to do an introduction and a hello while I'm here. And maybe even after I get my hair done later this week, <laughs> I might even do a video intro um, and say hello. But right now I'm kind of a floppy, moppy mess, so... I don't know that I'm quite ready for that yet. Um, maybe I'd even put makeup on, but I don't know that I'll get that carried away. <laughs> I don't really wear makeup. I live on Vancouver Island, so really nobody wears makeup. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Anyway, hi and welcome back. If you're one of my fabulous subscribers, I'm so happy that you've come back. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and let's get into today's video. So I've got these beautiful wooden blocks that my husband cut up for me. And they're, you know, I didn't measure them, but they're about four inches by four inches. And they're maybe three quarters of an inch thick-ish. So what I'm going to do with them is make them coasters. And I think I might have found something that is going to work and I'm going to go I'm going to go pick it up tomorrow and we'll try coating some of my old coasters and letting them cure and hopefully I want to get something that's hot enough just for cups apparently art resin is is good enough for putting your hot coffee cups and stuff on so that would be good for coasters however it's not going to work for doing trivets and I think that I have some of these in a larger size and I think they would make fabulous trivets, but they need to be, they need to be heat proof. So I'm still working on that, but that's what I'm going to, I'm going to try something out tomorrow. I've got that pink one I painted yesterday. I think it was yesterday or the day before. And, um, I think that it would make an excellent trivet if it was heat proof. So I'm going to make it heat proof. And anyway, I'm going to do a completely different technique today. And I'm going to go mix up my paints and I'll be back and I'll tell you all about it. Okay, so what we're doing today is a little bit of a different technique for me. I've been watching Art by Susan King, and I'll leave a link for her, either up in the corner, I think it'd probably be that corner, um, or um, either that or in the description box, or both. So you can go and check her out if you're so inclined. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just putting a coat of white on this, and I'm going to give it a minute to level itself out a bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one after I've made my pattern on here, and I'm going to dip it. Usually what Susan King does is she... She takes a piece of plastic and runs a piece of plastic over top of it. Or puts a piece of plastic over top of it and then presses it down and makes sure that that everything touches so that she gets a good coat all over. And then and then she lifts it up very carefully and very slowly. And then I think she might use the plastic for skins. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to dip my my second coaster into it and just and lift it up and we'll see what we get. <laughs> it could be interesting. Now this may take a while for me to put the paints on, so I'll go through and tell you what colors I used. And then most likely I'll I will turn it up Turn the speed up a little bit and, and throw on some music and let you watch while I put the colors on so as not to completely bore you out of your mind with, with my stories because I don't really have that many of them. Um, anyway, so let's, I have no idea what I'm doing, so <laughs> I'm just going to kind of follow along with what I have seen um, other people do. I think I've got way too much white. This is where I wish 
I had some of those bottles with the little squeezy tops on them. You know, so I could like squeeze out lines and stuff. This is going to take me forever and two Sundays. It's raining. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's raining outside my house. Of course, I live on Vancouver Island, so what would you expect other than rain? So I'll just kind of make a little bit of a flower shape. <laughs> How's that? I think I need a little bit more of the red over on this side. A little bit more petally there. It's kind of sinking into the white a little bit. Anyway, then we're going to go in, I guess, with our orange. How's that? Like I said, I don't know that it makes any difference what order I put the colors in. Ooh, that's a big ugly goop. Yuck. This orange is kind of old. It's been sitting around for a while. So let's try to follow kind of the same pattern, I guess. But not right on top of the orange, or not right on top of the red, maybe. Put a little in the middle. Okay, so this is a neon orange, and that was a Christmas red. And then the other colors I have are, I have a neon pink, a tutti frutti, a lavender, and a silver. And then for my leaves, I'm going to use a hunter green and a shamrock green. So, like I said, this might take me a while to get these colors laid out. So, rather than making you sit through and wait for it, I'll turn on some, some nice, soothing music to go along with watching paint pour. <laughs> they seem to go well together. I don't know. My paint might be too thin for my white. Everything seems to be sinking down in. I'm not sure how well it's going to pick up when I put my other one down, but I guess we'll see, won't we? totally running off over here which means I forgot to level everything of course of course you did I 
Okay, well, let's give it a shot. <laughs> That's a god awful mess. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, so. That's a no, 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 no. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get that scraped off. <laughs> I'll set those over there. <laughs> so, that was a disaster, wasn't it? Wow. <laughs> uh, it's been a couple of days now, and these are dry. I have done some other pouring, but before I edit this video and post it up there with that horrible disaster, I thought I would try again. So, my paint, I've gone back to my paint being at Trace, and if you remember me telling you what Trace is, that's when you drop it and it leaves a little bit of a mound for a minute. You can see a little bit of a pattern, because I think, I think I had two big problems with the earlier part of the video. I think the first problem I had was that my paint was way too thin. So it wasn't doing what I needed it to do anyway. It was all just sinking down under the white, and, and that wasn't what I wanted. And then I think the other problem I had was that I just took my two boards and I just smashed them together. Um, I, didn't, I didn't even try to like, just touch it, right? Which is probably what I should have done, was just barely touched it and, and just kind of set it on there and pulled it off. So I'm going to try again, but I'm going to try with a little bit more traditional dip technique. So uh, I've painted one or put a coat of white on one, and I want to get a light coat of white onto this, and then I'm going to set it aside to dry for a few minutes while we work on the other one. And I'm just about out of this first batch of my white paint from the, um, is it the Signature Series that I'm, that I'm using? Yeah, the Beauty Tone Acrylic White Interior Exterior. Blah, blah. Not what I was looking for, but it's working as a white base paint. So, let me just set this one aside. Hi! <laughs> I'll grab this other one. And... Got my little apron on. So I think I am going to put a little bit more white on this. And I'm just going to stretch it out, so I think I'll pause you and come back once it's stretched. So, my friends, I did decide to cut this video off here because it's at almost 15 minutes, and the next part is at least 15 minutes. I didn't want you to have to sit through 30 minutes of video, so I've cut it into two pieces. But I'm going to come right back, and I'm going to show you how I made those beautiful pieces. They're fantastic. Tabby says, have a fat, fantastic day. <laughs> See you later.